When making an edge cut, I use the block to hold it against the fence, and the other hand to just guide the piece through. As we go across the cutters, we transfer the pressure downwards on this end, and again just use the other hand to guide the piece through. As the joiner cuts a flat spot on the front end of the piece, we want to hold that part flat on the table and then drag the rest of the piece through the joiner. If we push down on the back, we can rock it up and we'll just keep chasing that back and forth. If we press down on the front as it makes a flat, we'll drag the rest of the piece through and let the joiner clean it off. We may have to make a few passes, but if we concentrate on this flat spot, it'll continue to get longer and come straight back rather than cutting a taper in the board. When you move the wood through the joiner too fast, you'll see these little ripples. This can happen on a wide surface also. You slow the feed rate down a little bit and this will come out just nice and silky smooth. When joining the wide face of a board, we also want to keep the pressure on that flat spot that the joiner creates near the leading edge. As that spot gets bigger, we'll concentrate all of the pressure on that edge going hand over hand rather than pushing back on this end where we'll just rock the board up. Now we end up with a nice flat surface, it's true and man, and we've removed the least amount of wood possible. Probably the most difficult cut to make on a joiner is, is joining the flat surface of a board with a bowl in it. Now we want to join it with the ends down and the center up. The idea is to take light cuts off of either end and gradually move enough material to bring the piece down. Well, this board has about a quarter of an inch bowl in it at the middle. Now if we're not careful, will push the board down. It takes very little pressure to do that. The joiner will take a sixteenth inch off of the entire length rather than just the ends. When we release it, the bowl comes right back. The board will be thinner, but the bowl will still be there.